Good evening. I look like I just spent the day out in the sun, don't I? <laughs> You're like, whoa, she go to California overnight or what? Um, no, and I did not spend my day in the sun. I actually, I love um, the Versa Spa. Versa Spray, Versa Spa, whatever you want to call it. And I felt today that I just needed a little bit of that pick me up. All right. So I sprayed. It processes for, I don't know, like 8 to 12 hours. And I think I'm about 7 hours in. So here I am. Okay. So welcome. My name is Kelly Dunlap. I am a health, wellness, and fat loss coach. And I am here to talk about that vicious cycle that you find yourself caught in oftentimes, which is you lose weight, you gain weight, you lose weight, you gain weight, you lose weight, you gain weight, and you're just wondering why you can't keep it off. I'm going to tell you why. There's many reasons why, but there, there are a few factors that come into play. One of the biggest things that comes into play is your habit loops are not being identified and they are not being replaced. And I've talked to you about this before. What happens is if you are, let's say you go into this weight loss program, whatever it is that you are choosing to do at the time, you're following these protocols of this weight loss, but you're not doing the work that needs to be done here. Okay. And this is a huge component of what I do in my coaching is I help people to recognize when they are in a habit loop, when that routine occurs for them to identify it, be more present to figure out what the reward is that they're really seeking. Cause half the time it really isn't the, the food itself. It's always that routine that they're used to having. And then it's the reward. And usually it's like a reward, like relaxation or, you know, something like that. Okay. So that's the first thing is there's no behaviors being identified. Therefore, and I had mentioned before, and I told the guys this before, that the brain loves habits because it's an energy conserver. Okay. If that makes sense, but you have to create a whole new routine and therefore the brain does not, it does not also, um, forget. So here's the thing. You're going to then be faced with choices. So you'll have your, your old habit loop and then you'll have your new. So then you'll have that choice to make. And that is where I hate to use the word willpower because the willpower is actually very, um, it doesn't last. It runs out. So, but that, that ultimately comes down to your willpower. And I do a whole module in my program about willpower and how you have to keep it charged, but that's not a whole other thing, but okay. So that's the first thing is that you are not recognizing that you need behavioral changes. It's huge. Okay. It's huge, 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 huge. If you don't change the behaviors, then you're going to find yourself in this lose weight, gain weight, lose weight, gain weight. In addition, people go about losing weight the wrong way. They feel that they need to eat less and exercise more and create this deficit. And I, I myself used to be that person until I really understood the hormones and how when you do that, you are really screwing yourself up. It's not good. So what happens is, is when you eat less and you exercise more, you are at the end of the day, you are decreasing your metabolic rate, your overall metabolic rate, meaning that you're decreasing your metabolism. So then what happens over time is you end up, um, let's say your body is used to, you know, burning so many calories per day, just, just from you living, just for you to live, you know? Then over time, as you keep doing this chronic dieting, what happens is, is every time you do this, you are reducing your metabolic rate by about 300 calories a day. That is huge. That is huge, huge, huge. And you don't want that. What you do want is you want to create a lifestyle change so that you have these behaviors that you a are aware of what your triggers are. You're aware of 
the routines and you know things like that that you need to change you're aware of the foods that aren't going to serve you well you are aware that if you get into this dieting cycle and this dieters mentality that all you're going to do at the end of the day you might have success in the very beginning but it's not going to last it's not going to last i'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news but it's not going to last so here's the thing 95 percent of the people that lose weight gain it back okay now here's another one for you 66 percent will be fatter at the end of the day and why is that because i just explained because when you're metab when you go through those chronic dieting cycles you are losing your metabolic rate by about a 300 calorie per day rate and you don't want that so here's the deal here's an example you know of this eat less exercise more vicious thing that everybody goes on let me get some water let's say somebody's eating 2,000 calories a day then they decide well I want to lose a pound a week because the pound is 3,500 calories so they want to create a deficit of 500 calories a day so then therefore seven times five 3,500 one pound blah 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 yay they see this with this weight loss okay which yeah okay like I said it will come off but the trouble is it's short term it's like a credit card okay you get that instant gratification but then there's greater costs later so they gain weight shortly after that because of you know they're screwing with their metabolic rate they're not changing their behaviors you get what I'm saying here you following me <laughs> this is why you gain weight you lose weight you gain weight you lose weight then you might get to the point where a lot of a lot of the students that I'm working with now are like I can't lose weight at all I am stuck I am absolutely stuck and therefore that's what we really have to do a lot of investigative work and figure out okay what is it that we need to do to get this metabolism moving again what foods are you eating what foods do we need to be eating you know that sort of thing what type of exercise all that kind of stuff so the bottom line is you guys is that it's not a healthy thing it's not a healthy thing and we all do it because everybody wants that instant now 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 give me that magic pill oh Sally Sue lost 20 pounds on that I'm doing that here take my money I'll buy all the supplements in the world from this person and that person if they say I'm gonna lose 20 pounds and it's <laughs> you might get it in the beginning but you just have to remember that credit card okay you have to remember what I was saying that it's not going to be a payoff in the big picture okay so here's the deal it's quite simple you know yesterday's um, live on the keto diet was very scientific so therefore my live was very long and I hope that you did find it very informative today's super simple it's super simple it's just the fact that you have to create a lifestyle change you have to create different changes in your mindset you have to make a shift you have to understand that there is no quick fix you have to understand that it takes time it takes investigative work sometimes it takes a coach and that's what I'm here for you know um, that said it is not too late for you to submit your uh, scholarship submission you have until midnight tonight okay you just post it right here in this group just five minutes or less it doesn't even have to be five minutes okay there's lots of posts in here and I talk about what the requirements are it's super simple you can win a five-week coaching program with me and as a matter of fact I had just posted a uh, testimonial from one of the girls that's in my program right now Dana so look for that and she describes you know what's going on with her with this program right now and all you guys have to do is just go to the metabolism reboot academy.com and just click on join the waitlist message me so that I know that you joined the waitlist because we're getting close to uh, closing time here <laughs> so that I know to look and watch for it I can chat with you a little bit you know that sort of thing as well um, but it would be so worth it so worth it this can change your life this is not a diet this is a lifestyle change okay 
So remember those things. There's no quick fix. You have to recognize behaviors that you are continuously doing over and over and over again. And those behaviors are ultimately connected to a craving, which there is a trigger, a routine, and a reward attached to. You have to recognize that. You have to create new behaviors and new loops to replace that and know that the old one is still always going to be there, but you have to have that shift in your mindset to know when to recognize it and to know that, hey, I'm going to have to make a choice here, okay? In addition, know that exercising more and eating less is not going to work, that ultimately you are creating a decreased metabolism over time, an average of 300 calories per day. You don't want that. 99% of the people gain the weight that they lost and 66% gain it back and then some. Okay, so I hope you found that informative. I look forward to your scholarship submissions and let me know if you have any questions. Okay, we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.